the biggest highs, the biggest highs uh, stage for activity for myself and Saint Etienne. I think it was uh, one of the nicest ones that I took victories overall, the way it was. And uh, the lowest low, um, I think the tour of 2018 with the team, where we finished with three guys and uh, just overall we were all in a, not in a bad shape, but with bad luck and a lot of guys crashing out and um, yeah, finishing with three, not really a big result, that was uh, one of the lowest. Um, nah, it's the biggest of the three, it's uh, the one with the most media attention, so it's the most important one for the sponsors. Um, also the most famous race in the world. Um, if you are selected for the tour, uh, you have to be in 100% shape. So you have to approach it a little bit different. You have to be in top shape here and any other race you can be a little bit worse, but in the tour you cannot start with a bad shape because then you will suffer more than you have to. Um, in the start, it's uh, a supportive role for Caleb. Um, uh, I have to uh, close gaps probably to the breakaway. And uh, yeah, once we are in the, more in the mountains, then uh, I have to try to be in breakaways and try to win myself. So that's the biggest uh, goal. Uh, you have to be in a good condition, first of all, or you cannot get into a breakaway. It used to be uh, a little bit easier to be in a breakaway. You just have to have the intention to be in and then they will let you go. But now there are so many riders that uh, aim for the breakaway and it's getting uh, harder and harder to be in the right one and uh, to win from a breakaway. Um, yeah, you have to have a really good condition and uh, when they really race for 50, 60 kilometers, uh, then you have to keep jumping. So, yeah. Um, in the tour, it's uh, more difficult than in other races because the stage win is really important for every team. Uh, you don't get any gifts. Uh, in the Giro, 11 times. The winner came from a breakaway this year, but in the Tour it won't happen, probably. Um, yeah, Once you are in the breakaway uh, and you have to fight for every second, uh, you don't really calculate, it's just fighting. And you have to ride as hard as possible, and then you will know in the final 20, 30 kilometers if you can make it or not, but even then you never know. Uh, even I still make mistakes, uh, but that's not a problem. You can make mistakes. You just have to learn from the mistakes and then try to do it different. Uh, like Brent van Moer, he's still young, but he wants to be in breakaways. He wants to win from breakaways. And he also makes mistakes, but he learns from them and then he wins in Dauphiné. And then he, once you know how to win, then you can uh, use that in your advantage. And, you start to get more experience. You have to be in as many breakaways as possible. And if you lose all of them, no problem. Once you start winning, you know how to win. And then you have to use the experience for the other breakaways. Yeah, the, the location of the Stelvio was a bit nicer. I think the, because it's a tour, you have to say it's the biggest win, but actually the location of the Stelvio makes it uh, more heroic. I would borrow the skill of Tosh <laughs> of uh, riding in a bunch. I re would really like uh, to be able to ride in a bunch like Tosh. He uh, can move in a bunch really easily, which makes him uh, perfect for Caleb. But if I had it, I could be easily in the front and maybe attack more often in the, in the final, while now I'm uh, yeah, I'm not too good in a bunch and I sit more in the back, so I lose a lot of uh, 
power and energy because of this. So I won't take that much uh, skills from another rider, but riding in the booms is, uh, is certainly one of them.